easy. But that first year as a puppy can, can be very hard. There's a lot to learn. Now the American Kennel Club is taking us behind the scenes with the seven puppies of the Puppy Pack. Joining us this morning, AKC spokesperson Gina DiNardo and the puppies of the Puppy Pack. Gina, great to have you. We also will behave. We are so happy to introduce the American Kennel Club's Puppy Pack. These are seven dogs who are going to follow the first year of their lives, the trials and tribulations of puppy ownership, to learn about responsible dog ownership. They'll all have different experiences and training based on what their owners want to do with them. Okay. And some of them are even going to be great workers in the community, training as a service dog and a nice. CNI dog. Gina, where can we see this uh, process? So you can follow them through videos and photographs on AKC's main Instagram page okay. and, of course, on all of our social media as well. So can we get... Um, an introduction Absolutely. to our puppies and their breed. Sure, so this is Tilly and she is a German short haired pointer and she is going to be trained to be a detection dog and also compete in AKC's events like uh, Can field you turn work. Tilly to uh, Todd over there because Tilly is so pretty. She's beautiful. She's yes. going to compete in some agility and obedience training and just become a wonderful detection dog. Okay, and our next doggy. Now we have a Labrador Retriever. He is going to be working for the guiding eyes for the blind. Is that Zane? That is Zane. Hi, Zane. Zane is four months old, and he is a guide dog in training. Okay. And he will be with his owner for 15 to 18 months. And then his puppy goal is to pass uh, with flying colors and become a guiding eye. Uh, Panina is our next one. Panina is the best oh. out. Okay. Panina is a five-month-old basset hound, and she and her owner are going to compete in confirmation, so you can see her in a dog show. And she's oh, also going to do things like American Kennel Club's uh, Canine Good Citizen program, and just be learning how to be a really good citizen. So, Gina, not all these dogs here today will actually make it to the competition at some point, No, and right? some will do different things. Some will do agility, some will just become pets. This dog's going to do a little pack carry because she's a Siberian Husky. This is that Sparkle? This is Sparkle. Hi. She's also going to do agility. She's going to take AKC's good manners test called Canine Good Citizen. Oh, good manners, yes. Lori. They, they all seem out of the game, all quite dogs frankly. Need good manners. What and about this little munchkin here? So, this uh -oh. adorable little Storm is an Icelandic sheepdog. Oh. And he's going to become a canine ambassador. He's going to go to schools throughout the country or his community and teach people about responsible dog ownership and what it, how to approach a dog. So, Gina, a sheepdog, they're usually big and hairy, right? So this is Icelandic sheepdog, and they're a more medium-sized dog. Oh. The so. only dog native to Iceland, actually. And what about this little, is this a pug? This is a Pomeranian. Oh, sorry, this is oh, a Pekingese puppy. Oh, Pekingese. This is oh. Mimi. She's four months old. Hello, thank she's going to compete <laughs> in AKC confirmation events, but she's also an AKC Pup Pal, which is our uh, pen pal program that kids can sign up with and talk to dogs and get letters from dogs oh, and pictures so cool. and learn about the dogs' lives. All right, and then we have Ernest yep, over there. Ernest. Ernest is making himself <laughs> very comfortable. Ernest is a blend of a mall terrier. It's a very rare breed. They are wonderful. He's going to compete as a confirmation dog and also do some uh, AKC Canine Good Citizenship. Okay, so as a puppy owner, yes. what are some of the key things we should keep in mind for that crucial first year? Socialization is the most important thing. Getting your puppy to have as many positive experiences in a variety of situations so that they're they're not scared of things and they learn to like strangers, they learn to interact well with other dogs. You see how all of these puppies, they're all mm -hmm. four and five months old, are so calm. They're not faced by the cameras, they're not faced by the other dogs. And so it's basic training skills and lots of socialization. So Gina, how do you choose these puppies here? Because you know, my Lulu has been passed over a number of times. <laughs> She's no longer a puppy. She may be in the senior citizen category. Well, we could do another pack of older dogs. Okay. But we wanted to have dogs that represent different uh, sizes, the different groups that the AKC has. They're going to be doing different activities because some of these breeds are bred to do specific functions. She's bred to carry sleds. She's bred to work out in the field. Mm -hmm. This one is bred to hunt. So it's just showing people there's a breed that's right for you, but they have these innate abilities that if you learn about them, you'll have a better relationship with your dog. And that is so key. You know, as we, we approach the holidays, a lot of people want to give pets 
as a gift but you really need to cater it to that household and you know for dogs that are like work dogs they need to be that's active right. you can't just you know have a sedentary lifestyle there's a breed that's right for you or many breeds but you have to do your research and investigate how much exercise will they require how much training how much grooming what meshes best with your life so that you can have the most positive experience with your dog right. and do research people spend more time shopping for a car sometimes than they do to get a so puppy true. and so find a responsible breeder find a good rescue however you want to get your dog do your research uh, Gina so the big events when, when does that start because that, that's like several days worth yes. of fun so AKC meet the braids it's returning to the Javits Center two days at the end of January January 25th and 26th uh, all the braids that the American Kennel Club registered Registers will be represented. Can you get tickets yet? They're on sale this morning. And you cannot <laughs> bring your own pet no, to it, right? No, but you can go and meet Lori. other... Lori! What? <laughs> I was going to sneak one of them. I've had people try to do that before. They, they yeah, have they to? Do, absolutely. And what do you do when, when they do that? We ask them to nicely leave. <laughs> oh, okay. But you can meet thousands of dogs, and there's demonstrations. Learn about responsible dog ownership. Learn about things that you can do with your dog with just a little bit of training. Mm -hmm. The American Kennel Club has 22 different kinds of events. So not just dog shows, agility, obedience, rally, set work, trip dog. There's so much. And with a little bit of training, you can really enhance the quality of your relationship with your dog. Oh, we love having all these puppies on this morning. And their owners, Zandler's with us as well. Thank you, Gina. Sure. Thank you. Good okay, tips. go to the AKC website. You'll find out a lot more. Exactly. And the Instagram. Thanks so much.